Yeah. No, you're good, you're good. Wait, are you the one who having a camera that you like see everywhere? Am I the guy with the camera? Uh Morning guys, it's Saturday morning, March 19th, I believe, and uh, we're back at the swamp today, guys. Yeah. 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 ¿Cuánto crees para uno? Cinco bolas. ¿En para los Tres dólares. Excuse me, guys. No, you're good, you're good. Are you the one who having a camera that you like see everywhere? Am I the guy with the camera? Uh, yeah, that was me. Oh, I got hey, did you record the windstorm? No, I didn't get the windstorm, bro. I wasn't here for the tornado. People were recording everywhere. And except for helping, my mom was going to this is the car I I just fucking modify and put better rims on it, you know, anything that's boring. You know, that had that had like aluminum style rims on it. Just clean it up and make it look a little bit better. Uh twenty-five. That one is also twenty-five. I know the firebird is a little rough, but it's a firebird. Alright Mark, I'm here. You are here. Let me pull everything out that you well you choose the four game boys. What do you think? Okay, boys, you're killing me, brother. Uh, I just well, want you know they're like fucking like 75 and up online. You know, so I don't want to short sell them, but if you give me a good price, then I'll take it. You don't want the uh, Pokemon? Pokemon Red, you said? And they all work. Every Game oh, Boy works. I tested 65 them 65 for that? Huh? 65. Well, not for that. I wouldn't oh. give it to you for that. I'll give you a better deal. But, uh, you know, you're going to No, just the, these, uh, just the Game Boy Advance, not that one. Oh, okay, not this one. But they all work. Everything's worked. It's all got batteries in it. I tested them all. What were we thinking? Um, I got them at 65 a piece. I don't want to short sell them. I can't do them for 30, you know? That's not, probably not going to happen. But uh, with this or without? Without. Um, That's what? What did I got in that? 65 and 65, which is 130, so 260. You go like uh, 220. And I know if you're gonna resell them, there's not a whole lot of meat on the bone for you, but it's just this is one of those things where. No, I know, I get it. It's gonna sell. It will sell. The minute I decide to drop them to like 50 bucks a piece, they're gonna fucking fly out of there. You know what a guy told me last night? Yeah, we're way out, man. I'm totally. The yeah. best I was gonna do is 150. Yeah, I couldn't do. That. Yeah, yeah. That was the and best at I was 150, do. I think I'm a buyer. Yeah. You know, only because I could put them at 50 bucks a piece quick and get, you know, two bills. Oh, that's fine. So. No, I get it. No, I get it. I get it. Um, yeah, I'm way out that. Comes to me last night. And he's like, "How much for all the Game Boys?" And I says, "Well, you know, I got them at 65 a piece. And you try to buy them online, they're, you know, with tax and shipping and all that. It's like 80, 85 bucks." Right. I said, "If you're interested in all four of them, I said if I could work a deal, was it, which was that one." And he's like, "Well, yeah. How much?" So I was doing my calculator. He's like, I'll tell you what. He's like, I'll give you 25 bucks a piece. I said, you know what? I'll tell you what. You bring an 18 wheeler right here full of them. I'll fucking buy them at 25 bucks a piece too. Right. No, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, yeah. sure. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I wish I could. I, I wish no, I get it. I get it. I just. No, you did. No, you did it. My bad. No, you good, bro. Hey, you got a lot more boxes, man. You hey, seen I the? I you all six boxes for forty bucks with the cards. With the cards? Okay, 
So I'm assuming these cards are nothing? I, I just move on. I just like opening the packs, honestly. I don't even take them out there. Those All right, that's all a lie, bro. That that's a lie, bro. Come on, man. I'm dead serious. You can ask her, because she opens them and she throws them back in there. That's just like this. What's that? Oh, that's Yu-Gi-Oh, right? And it has all the, see? It has everything in it still. I, I just want the parcels. I like the parcels. Okay, oh, shit. Okay, $15. See? More. A whole bunch of more cards. I give you 20 bucks. For just the 10? Oh. Uh, give me 30. For the 10s and the cards. Were those in there? $15. 35. Oh shit. Yeah, I think they're all. Oh. That's my uh. Look at it, look at it, fine. 35 bucks? Alright. First one of the day. First what? First sale of the day. First sale of the day? Bro, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah. There's no lid on this. Oh, that's it. That's it. There's no lid for this one, bro? No, right? I don't think so. You might end up buying it. What are you asking for this, bro? 20. Because it has all the card sleeves in it, too. And that alone is 15 just for that. Oh, really? I'll do 15 for the Darth Maul. 20. I'm going to tell you what, I'll do 10 for the Darth Maul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's worth 45. Well, that's so 35, problem. you do 45 for everything? 50. We're at 35. Alright, 50. All right. Want this one too? Sure. Throw it in there? Yeah. 30, yeah. Let me 40. Think about it. There you go, buddy. Thank you. Let's see how I do. Someone gives me 45 for it. Come on. There's something else, huh? It's now Saturday night. I'm back home with my brother and my son, Nico. And uh, I'm going to show you everything that we got picked up today at the Swami. Oh. Clearly, as you can see, we got tons and tons of stuff today. Um, so, first thing I'm going to start off were these Game Boys. So, earlier in the video, you see that I was talking to my guy, Mark, about these Game Boys. He was asking $65 a piece. For each one, and uh, I believe he wanted 280 at first, and then down he went to 220. I offered him 150, and he said no to that, so I uh, walked off and I just kept going. He ended up texting me later on in the day, or within probably an hour, so that he changed his mind and said down to 185. I still said no, and I went up to only 160, and uh, he finally accepted my offer, and I took that. So I picked up each one of those for 160. I thought it was a great deal. Uh, seems like a lot of money, but I think Game Boy colors are pretty. Pretty dope when you, pick, when you pick them up all in one time, especially different colors like this. Um, especially right now. Imagine how crazy they are right now. Say five, ten years from now. Imagine how much more do these things go. I believe even a green one in the box, I believe it's sold for about $400. But that's with a box. And a lot of times, even on the Swami or even online, I find boxes being sold for dirt cheap. And a lot of times, if, I, if, I can, if, I am, if I'm able to combine them, it's even better. 
Um, I got an Apple Care protection plant disc. Uh, this was brand new. Uh, you saw this in the video too. I had a tag of $70, brand new, but I ended up paying $4 for it. I got a Captain America Funko Pop for $3. This is going to my collection as well. And here I got an Odyssey putter. I believe this is the Dual Force 660. I thought this was worth a lot more when I picked it up. Uh, it's in great condition actually, and I think this is only going to go for about 20 bucks. Here I picked up these Lego figs today uh, for $3 each from my guy Luis. Shout out to you if you're watching this video. Um, I paid $3 each, and uh, I believe the only one that's worth a little bit is going to be the Shark Trooper around the middle. Depending on the set that it comes from, they start from about $15 to all the way up almost $50. But I believe this one's a newer one, so it won't be it won't be uh, worth as much. All right, guys, time for me to address the elephant in the room or in the garage. Are going to be these Funko Pops? All these Funko Pops I got today, I work for my guy Anthony. Thank you, Anthony, so much. I hope you're watching this video. I doubt it, but if you are, thank you, brother. Um, I got all these Funko Pops from him today for a solid deal. Um, I paid up a little bit because it does sound crazy I'm paying this much money for toys, but. For a reseller like myself that knows how to flip some things, I think I make some good money on this one. Uh, for a total of all these things, I paid two seventy five, dollars And already, by the time I got home, a couple of them were already gone. Not gone, but I already made a couple deals on them already. Uh, so right here, we got some Funko Pop shirts. Uh, it's going to be a Funko Pop and a shirt. These are brand new sealed. And I believe they're medium size. So if you guys are interested, hit me up. Uh, these are going to be fun. Uh, I believe they're called Fun Pack. Fun Boxes of Funko Oh, some shit like that. Um, so you are able to actually buy these on the Funko Pop website. Uh, you get the whole package with the whole item and some glasses. I got three of those. Uh, I got Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man, Buzz, Amanda Lorian. I'm keeping that one, actually. Uh, some extra ones. Uh, some Pokemon Funko Pops. Bubbasaur, Squirtle, and Pikachu. Uh, great Ape. I can't say this one. Uh, per Peruga? Parunga. Parunga. Don't know who that is. That's Dragon Ball Z. Not my thing. Uh, some uh, some really good ones of this whole set are going to be the sealer ones. I know these are worth a little bit of money. So I'm going to get these posted up pretty soon so I can start making some money back. And then right here, I got some extra ones. I got some Hello Kitty ones. Energizer Bunny. Uh, Gohan and Breerus. And uh, for a couple of people who are interested, let me know. I got Notorious B.I.G. I know he's worth some money. Um, it makes me so happy when I get Funko Pops because even for myself, I have over I have over 100 Funko Pops. I'm more of a Star Wars guy, but just collecting and seeing other Funko Pops, I don't know, just makes me happy. So I'm happy that I'm able to make some money on Funko Pops. So that's a plus for me. Even with having Game Boys today, even with having Funko Pops, it's still not the best thing I got today so far. Um, I'm sure in the videos you guys saw that I picked up these Pokemon tins. So I picked up each tin today. Uh, they have Pokemon cards inside of them as well. I haven't gone through them at all to see what's inside, but I'm pretty sure the seller already looked through them and picked out the good ones already. But I'm not even tripping about it because uh, the hype is ridiculous about Pokemon right now. So I think I'm just going to pick these up, uh, make like little sets of 20 and then put them up for auction. I think I, I can get a good about 20 sales on this stuff. So if I make 20 bucks on each one, I'll be happy and I'll definitely be making my money back on these. I paid $50 for all these. These six tents, I really like the tents. I, I collect the tents, so I'm going to sell the cards inside. And that was just for that. This is for this. And then right here, I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, inside, there's some these little uh, new packets and cards inside. And then in here as well, there's more There's more Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Yu yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, excuse me. Yu-Gi-Oh cards in these tents. Um, I paid $50 for the Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon all together. I'm sure I'll be making my money doubling or even tripling it really fast with this. So I'm happy with this. If, uh, if you guys know anything about this stuff or if you guys are interested, hit me up, guys. Because I'm not really big into cards. I really don't know much about Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just know how to sell them. That's it. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I'm going to get these things set it up and uh, list it up. Uh, we'll see what the next week comes up, guys. Thank you so much for watching Video 5. And uh, stay tuned.